What's up guys, I'm Safi and today we're going to be comparing the Aperture 120D Mark II versus the Godox VL300. Let's go. Let's get started with the comparison and jump on B&H. So as you can see, the price for the Aperture is $745 while the Godex Lite is $749. The Godex comes at a color temperature of 5600 Kelvin, while the Aperture comes at 5500 Kelvin. In my living room, I did a test. The Godex is on the left and the Aperture is on the right. There is a slight color temperature difference, but to me, it's not that big of a deal not to buy the Godox. The CRI value on the Aperture is 96, while the CRI value on the Godox is also 96. But you can see that the TLCI rating on the Godox is 95, while on the Aperture, the TLCI rating is 97. Both of these lights have a Bowens mount, so you can use barn doors, Fresnels, or any other. I am using the Aperture Light Dome Mark II on my Godox light right now. Here's what this environment looks like with the Aperture and the Godox. So let's go first with the Aperture and this is at 92% output. And now let's do the Godox with 52% output. Here is the aperture one more time with 92% output. And the Godox one more time at 52% output. Let's talk about build quality. Now both the Aperture and the Godox light have awesome build quality. The Aperture has a few effects that the Godox does not have. These effects are really comes in handy when you're doing a short film or a music video because you can add that little extra flair and make your production feel like a little higher budget than it is. But I've noticed that the Aperture 120D falls a little short and it's a little weak in certain settings, especially when I'm shooting slow motion in a dark room because you have to jank up the shutter speed to 250 and you need a really bright light to make sure you capture everything without getting extra noise. Here's some extra tests just to put a cherry on top. Now, none of these are scientific, but it might give you a better idea of how the lights compare in a practical setting. So let's get right into it. You can tell the Aperture 120D is on the left and the Godox 300 is on the right. It's much, much brighter. Shutter speed and ISO are constant. On the left here, it's f2.8 for the Aperture and f4.5 for the Godox. And finally, for test number four, I wanted to show a side-by-side -side comparison and show you the f-stop so keep an eye on the f-stop you can see that the shutter's 150th and the iso is 125 but to get mm00 you have to go to f11 for the godox and f9 for the aperture and you can also tell the difference in color temperature as well all right that's about it with all the tests in conclusion, wrapping it all up, and my recommendation, because I've used the Aperture Light so many times, if you're looking for effects like lightning, flash, and other stuff, I would go with the Aperture 120D Mark II. Also, since the Aperture 120D has less output power, you only need one V-mount battery. V-mount batteries are not cheap, they're very expensive, so buying the Godox VL300 is going to cost you more in the long run because you need at least 300 watts to operate it and 14 amps to use, and those batteries are not cheap. Thank you so much for being here. Leave a thumbs up if you liked this video or you learned something. I appreciate your time. Leave comments in the comment section if I missed something, and peace.